blush gems and welcome to part one of my wig series if you are new here make sure you guys go ahead and stop this video and hit that subscribe button in today's video as it states i will be showing you guys how to bleach the knots on your closure so it can look like a scalp honey nobody will be able to tell you anything okay and in this video i am using my body wave mink bundles in my five by five hd closure which is also for my company. I'll be selling this soon. So if you are interested, check out my website. Everything will be linked in the description box. So all you will need is some foil, your closure, and a hair dyeing bowl, and a brush that I got from Sally's. And I still use the Clairol brand. I have 40 Volume Developer by Clairol. I don't know if the girlies still use Clairol, but I do. And I also am using the Clairol BW2 Bleach, extra strength. 40 volume developer is very strong so it will not need to sit on the knots for long if you are a beginner and you're not comfortable with working with 40 volume you can go down to a lesser volume like 20 or 30 and then have your bleach sit on the knots a little longer but i like to work fast i want this to be done quick so as you guys can see um i usually pour two scoops of powder bleach into the bowl but i was kind of doing like half Pour, I don't know what was going on, but I had to end up pouring in some more powder bleach. You guys will see. And now I'm pouring in my volume developer. And I'm mixing this solution or whatever you want to call this until the consistency is like pudding. You do not want this to be too runny. Um, this sh solution should be thick, like pudding like. It shouldn't be too runny because if it gets runny it's going to seep through the holes in your closure and get to the roots and turn your roots yellow it's a whole process i mean it's an easy fix if you guys do mess up don't freak out i used to mess up all the time and i still do it's an easy fix though you can go back in and dye the roots if you want it's just tedious so as you guys can see i'm just mixing it here and as you see it's not leaving off of the brush that's the consistency that you want it and don't be scared to add powder or more volume developer. Keep on mixing until you get that, the right consistency that you want. As you guys can see, I'm taking the brush and just patting the bleach on very lightly it looks like i'm doing it heavier you don't have to rub the bleach in too hard because again it will seep through the holes in your closure and get to the roots so you can be very gentle with this i know because the video is sped up it looks like i'm like like rough and hard but i promise y'all i was like very soft and gentle when applying it on i was trying to just keep the bleach on the surface if that makes sense i didn't want to press it in too hard to where it would go through the holes we just want the knots bleached, that's it. But we don't want it to get through the holes into the roots. And I'm saying this because from experience, y'all, <laughs> it's really a learning process, but you will be a pro soon, sis. And another little tip that I would like to suggest is by starting to apply the bleach onto the back of the closure and work your way up to the front. And this is because I'm using 40 volume, so it's going to do its job really, really quickly. You only need to sit this on for about 20 minutes, even 30 minutes. Um, it's really up to your liking of how you like your knots. But um, as you guys can see, I started from the back and worked my way up to the front. I didn't want the front to bleach faster than the back, if that makes sense. Because the front, everybody wants to see that yellowish looking color if it over bleaches. That's why I started from the back. Nobody will be able to see the mistakes, girl. So after I'm done, I just like to flip it over to check and make sure it didn't get too much in the roots. As you guys can see how the bleach kind of seeped through the lace. That's normal. That's pretty much normal. But it's not too runny to where it will get the roots too yellow. So I'm just going over any missing knots that I, you know, missed. Um, that's why I like to flip it over just to see. And I got all the knots. Everything was gotten. And I just like to look through it. Just to check so now that we are done applying the bleach I'm just going to fold the foil so it can process faster be very careful with this y'all because it's going to do its job like I said really fast 
So I'm not going to leave it in, but I definitely do want to process, you know, speed it up. So I'm only leaving the bleach in my knots for about 20 minutes. And again, you can check on your knots like every, you say, I, I check my knots every like 10 minutes. And as you guys can see, it's starting to turn yellow here. So I like to look at it, make sure it's still okay not getting over bleached or processed. All right, so now that we're close to the timer going off, I think the timer did go off here. I was looking, and as you guys can see, the knots officially turned yellow. That means that that's a good sign that it did its job. The bleach bleached what it had to bleach, all right? So now we're going to wash it out. Sometimes I even like to go back in a second round and let the bleach sit on the knots again just to make sure it's to my liking. You can do that as well. Um... But although, keep in mind, anytime you bleach your knots, you make the strands weaker, so this can cause shedding. But, I mean, I still do it just for the scalpy look. But as you guys can see, it is starting to look like a scalp. Y'all see that? Okay. Purr. But, like I said, I like to take my extra product and go back in. And I just go over, like, the little black dots that I miss. I'm also a firm believer in washing the first round of bleach off so it won't over process my roots. I don't let it sit. I just apply it on again, if that makes sense. I hope I make sense, y'all. Let me know if I make sense. And since the knots are technically already bleached, I don't let the second round sit in for too long. So as you guys can see, I only let it sit for about an extra three or five minutes, whatever you prefer, again. So I'm just washing off that second round of bleach off. And we're really about to get a scalp. I know y'all see that scalp, though. Because where's the lace? Like, do y'all see that under the water, though? This is that HD lace, okay, baby? This is that HD. This is my hair. At this point, it's my hair. All right, now we're at the fun part. I'm using my Shimmer Light Shampoo, and I'm applying this to the lace only. To the lace only, we're going to cancel out that brassiness. That's what purple shampoo is used for to cancel out that brassiness. And it kind of tones the hair down because we want to get rid of that ugly color. So I'm also like rubbing the product in like the roots just to make sure that brassiness goes away. Now I'm taking my Shimmer Lights conditioner and I'm applying this to the lace as well. I let the conditioner sit on the lace or the roots for about like three to five minutes. Now, do you need to do this step? No, you. I don't really think you do, but it's kind of just a tradition I do. I just do it anyway, so I don't know. Does it really do anything? I have no clue. <laughs>
And y'all see my purple shampoo and conditioner, whatever. It did its thing, okay? It canceled out that brassiness. It looks a little more natural. It's not so yellow. Look at that. Look at that scalp. So y'all can just enjoy the rest of this video of me showing y'all my scalp at this point, okay? If you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and stay tuned. I am super, super excited because the next video is part two of this wig series and it will be of me making the wig i love y'all and i'll see y'all in the next video Shorty off a pinstar Just the wrong lady, it's a pinstar Way that I've been living unconventional I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things have started getting canceled Think we need to have a son of I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I'd rather see my heart turn to home Rather see my heart turn to home